Unfortunately, at times, we'll run into stones or other debris on the mountain, causing minor damage to the base of the ski. These damages don't require you to take it into a shop, but they do require some maintenance. That's when we turn to dripping in P-TEX. To drip in P-TEX, we need four basic things. P-TEX, a lighter or matches, steel scraper, and some 320 silicone carbide paper. As you can see, we've taped off the area surrounding the small mark in the base of the ski. What we need to do first before dripping P-TEX candle in there is clean it out with a small brush. Next thing we'll want to do is we'll want to light our P-TEX candle on fire with our lighter. And we're going to want to place this over the top of the steel scraper. Moving the steel scraper as close to the mark as we can so as not to drip any of the candle anywhere else on the ski. And once the flame gets started, it'll start dripping and be very fluid. It's all right to let it drip on the stainless steel piece. As you can see, the flame is started now. It won't be long before it starts dripping. Once it starts dripping, then we'll want to put small drops right in to the whole area. We're dripping it in there, and it's combining with the base to close the area down. Still in liquid form, drop it right in there. A little bit longer in front of and behind the actual base material. Be careful when blowing out the P-TEX candle. If this lands on your skin, it's extremely hot. We'll wait a few minutes for the P-TEX candle to harden, and then we'll scrape it out. Now that our P-TEX is hardened and cooled into the damaged area, what we want to do is just check and make sure that it feels good, solid in there. Take our steel scraper. Now a common thing that people do is start from one side and scrape over the top, meaning it's going to pull it out more often than not. A very easy way to fix this problem is to start from the center of the wound and work your way out one direction and back the other way. So what I mean by that is you actually mark it just about in half and work one direction. Removing that material, then come back and move the other direction. Now what we've done is we've filled in that hole. Now that our repair has been finished, we can use our 320 silicone carbide paper to go ahead and smooth it out. We want to make very nice, easy, nothing aggressive marks there. That's basically just going to smooth out the area. The hairs that's created there will be removed. This, all this material will all look universal once we wax and polish over the top of it.